Hello everyone, thank you for our viewing our presentation. The title of our paper is Recovering Trajectories of Unmarked Joints in 3D Human Actions Using Latent Space Optimization. I am Suhas Lohit and my co-authors are Rushila Nirath and Pawan Turaga. <clears throat> in this paper, we focus on human action sequences captured in the form of skeletons using devices like the Kinect and Motion Capture, also called MoCAP. A common problem in this modality is that not all joints in the skeleton will be visible. This can happen due to several reasons, including occlusions. That is, we have a multidimensional time series with some dimensions which are completely missing throughout the time series. For example, if you have 25 3D joints in a skeleton, you can view the action sequence as a 75 dimensional time series. And some of these 75 dimensions can be completely missing. And for this missing dimensions problem, we propose a B-prior based method to fill in the missing dimensions. This is inspired by similar methods developed in the image processing literature. <laughs> this slide shows the overview of the method, the proposed method. First, we train a generative model, in our case just an autoencoder, for human actions. At test time, given a test sequence, we first... Um, the test sequence has several unobserved joints, as we see here, and this first pass through the autoencoder to first get uh, an initial latent space representation Z. And then we perform the latent space optimization um, such that the uh, error between the reconstruction and the observed joints is minimized. And the final, the final output of the algorithm is the, uh, that, late, that optimal latent space Z star passed through the decoder to get the final reconstruction. First, how do we train the autoencoder? If we have a training set with pure, uh, uh, fully clean data, that is all joints are visible, then we can train it with the usual L2 loss, as we see here. However, uh, we are interested in a more difficult setting, where the training set also has sequences with missing joints. In order to train this autoencoder, what we do is we use this modified loss function, uh, as we see here in the second equation. Um, this is slightly modified from the first one, and the additional term here, A, is the subsampling matrix which shows which joints have been missing, and Y refers to the sequence, the test, the uh, training sequence is where some of the joints are missing. So we now define an important measure which we use later on called the OTP. Uh, this is the ratio of the number of observed joints to the number of total joints uh, expressed as a percentage by multiplying by 100. So what we're interested in are settings where uh, both the training and test sets have OTPs less than 100% and uh, they can also be different from each other. So the, at test time, uh, what we do is we first feed the incomplete test sequence to through the order encoder to get the initial latent space representation Z and the output of the decoder at this point can be used with baseline reconstruction. In our method, however, we what we do is latent space optimization, which is we find the optimal Z star such that this func such that this functional is minimized and the output of the decoder with that Z star serves as the final reconstruction. We uh, measure our reconstruction performance in two ways. One, the usual L2 error, also called the RMAC error shown here, as well as the classification performance on a pre-trained uh, deep classifier which was trained on uh, actions where all the joints were observed. So this gives two ways of re uh, measuring reconstruction performance. We perform our experiments on two publicly available data sets called the HDM05 which is a mocap data set, medium, medium uh, size data set and also the NTU Kinect data set which is a large scale database. These are some of the visualizations of the results on the HDM05 dataset, as we see, the baseline autoencoder reconstruction does not do well, uh, while the proposed latent space optimization does much better. This is also true for the case of uh, NTU dataset, where the latent space optimization method, which is proposed here, performs much better for these sequences compared to the baseline autoencoder reconstruction. Now for some quantitative results, <coughs> first row shows the oracle results where we have all the joints available at both training and test time and the RMSE error 
of the 3D joint locations, as well as the classification accuracies are shown here for both data sets. However, when we have uh, joints missing at test time or training time, uh, we see that the proposed method, which is given by D of Z star here, is much better in terms of both the RMSE and the classification accuracy compared to the baseline autoencoder reconstruction, which is given as D of E of Y. This is true for all these train and test ODPs, as well as for both data sets. This table shows more comparisons with other baselines. Sparse coding is a classic technique which fails in this scenario. Uh, Frame-wise methods, which don't model temporal changes, also perform poorly compared to the proposed method, which models actions directly. More details about these experiments, as well as more experiments, are provided in the paper. Thank you for your attention.